welcome to the Church Project tutorial. In this tutorial, we will show you how to use some of the Acquire features, such as setting up an RSS feed, the Slideshow app, and the Text Anime app. Further to this, the project provides a series of playlists and screens appropriate for different uses within the church, including a playlist that is appropriate for a church service, a playlist outside of a church service, and a donation playlist. A background page is a great way of keeping a design consistent across a range of your pages in your project, as it sits behind the rest of your content on each page. To begin with, create a new page. To add the background, click the media app and draw a box on the screen. It doesn't matter what size at this stage. Then, in the app settings, click the three dots next to the media data entry box and select the background PNG graphic. Then click OK and Auto Size button. Then on the Info tab, click the full screen button and this will centre the background image. Using the Media app, add the logo graphic. I also want to add a clock on screen. Using the Text app, draw a box in the top left of your page. Add the following acquire variable. Dollar dollar underscore hour 24 space colon space dollar dollar underscore min. Style the text appropriately. There should now be a clock on screen. I'd like to have an RSS feed at the bottom of the screen to complement the other content. As this is signage for a religious institution, I think a verse of the day would be a great idea. Firstly, select the text anime app and draw a long letterbox shape on screen and then go to the app settings. Select the animation style for how you want the text to appear. In this case, we have used image scroll. To add the RSS feed, select the feed option and click the source button. Select this as RSS feed. Now we need to configure the feed source. Click the configure button and add a new feed. Name what you want your feed to be called and add the URL of your feed. Once happy, Click OK and select the RSS feed from the drop down menu. On the text tab, select the title button and style the text appropriately. Then do the same for the content. Save your page as background page. During a service, I don't want an RSS feed to appear, so I'm going to make another page without it for the service screen pages. Copy and paste the background page and remove the RSS feed. Then save this page as background page 1. One of the playlists in this project is dedicated to play within a church service only. The number of pages to be created for a service playlist is exponential to what you would want to include in the service. To make the services page, firstly we want to add the background page we made earlier in the tutorial. Select the layouts tab and select the three dots next to the background data entry box and add the background one page. Next, using the media app, draw a large rectangle on screen and add the large information graphic PNG to the page. As this page is to be used within a church service, I think it would be great to make a digital version of the hymn and palm table. So to begin with, the first screen will be the summary of hymns that will be sang in the day's service. Using the text app, add the details of the hymns and style the text appropriately. Make as many pages like this as required for your service. These can be used to prompt the congregation to which hymn they are about to sing, or perhaps to visualise announcements during a service. Once you are happy with your pages for a service, you need to link them together. You can time a page to play for a certain period of time, but if something overran in a service, then these pages could end up jumping their position. In this case, it is better that the pages are manually prompted to change. To do this, I'm going to add a hotspot to every page. Firstly, open up your first page in your service playlist. 
Using the Media app, draw a box over the whole of the screen. Then click the Info tab and select the Actions button. Add a new action that on click, then to jump to page, and then select the next page in your service playlist. Continue applying hotspots that link your pages together in your service playlist using this process. In this instance, the screen will change on click or on touch, but third party devices could be attached and the action tweaks change when these are pressed. Outside of a service, I want to make a playlist of items, such as history, news, events and local advertisements that are happening in the parish. To begin with, I'm going to make one of the announcement pages, Recent Weddings. As before, add the background page. As this is a page that will play outside a service, I want to use the background page we made with the RSS feed. Next, using the media app, add the large information graphic from the media folder and using the text app, add the title Recent Weddings to your page. I now want to add the details of all the weddings that have recently taken place. To do this, we are using the Text Anime app. Select the Text Anime app and draw a box on screen. Then select Settings. Firstly, select what animation style you want and set the options. Set the background to be the same colour as the information graphic already on page. Click the Text tab and add your announcements. So that the text changes between each announcement, set the starting sentence of each page as title. Then style the text appropriately and save. To complement the announcements, I want to include a slideshow of photos of the weddings as they appear on the left. Using the Advanced Slideshow app, draw a box on screen and add your slides from the media folder. Set each slide to fade every 10 seconds. Finally, using the Shape app, draw a thin white rectangle between the title and text anime object and this will add a nice decorative touch. Click Save and save your page as News Weddings page. Following this format, make pages for baptisms, funerals and a history page. Finally, we want to make a page dedicated to local advertisements. Make a new page and add the background layer to it. Then, using the Advanced Slideshow app, draw a box on screen and add the local advertisement graphics. Set each one to fade every 7 seconds and click OK. Save your page. Finally, another aspect of this project is the ability to make donations to the church via a digital kiosk. Create a new page in a choir and add the background page without the RSS feed. Add the large information graphic via the media app and using the text app, add some introduction text. We now need to add a button to the page so a user can access the donation page. Select the button app and draw a box on screen. On the State Images tab, add the Donate button graphic and then in the Text tab, add the caption Donate. Style the text appropriately and click OK. I also want to add a progress bar to indicate where in the donation process a user is. Select the progress bar app and draw a long rectangle on screen. Click the app options and set the background to be white and the bar to be brown. I want the donation process to take around three pages. As such, set the maximum value as 100 and the position at 30. By setting the value as 30 of 100, this is roughly around a third of the maximum value of 100. 
which indicates we are one third into the process. Save this fundraising page as fundraising payment. Next, make another new page, add in the background page and progress bar. Set the progress bar to 60. This will be our payment page. As such, there needs to be a device that payment can be made to. There are a variety of apps that can perform this task in Acquire. However, in this instance, we will be using the Cyber Browser app and connecting to the payment portal that way. Click the Cyber Browser app and draw a box on screen. Go to App Settings and add your selected URL. So a user can type their details, we need to add a keyboard. Select the keyboard app and draw a box on screen. Select the app options and then add the turquoise AFK file. Set the hide direction as down and the visible area when hidden as 40. Finally, we need to add another button on this page so that a user can move away from this page after payment has been made. Using the button app, draw a box on screen and add the donate button graphic. Add the caption, next and style appropriately. Finally, we need to make a thank you page to thank the user who has made a donation. As before, create a new page and add the background layer and the large information graphic and also the progress bar set to 100 as this is the last page in the process. Add the large information graphic via the media app. Then, using the text tab, add a thank you message. Now we need to link the pages together. Open the first fundraising page and select the donate button. Add an action to jump to page and select the next fundraising page. Then in the second fundraising page, select the next button and set this to jump to page and select your thank you message page. Now it's time to make the playlist. Drag all your weekday pages into the playlist schedule area and set these to play between the hours of 12pm and 5pm. We now need to create a sleeper page to play when the project isn't playing. Create a new page and select the sleeper page app. Draw a box on screen and select the full page button in the info tab. On the page tab, click the page time box and set this as time and to play for one minute. Drag the sleeper page into the weekday playlist and schedule to play between the hours of 5pm and 12pm. Next, go to Playlist, Manage Playlist and create a new playlist. Call this Sunday Playlist. Add the first page from your Sunday playlist to the schedule area and schedule this to play between the hours of 9am and 12pm. We now need to add our weekday playlist. Click the plus button in the top right of the schedule area and add your weekday playlist. Set this to play between the hours of 12pm and 5pm.
Drag the sleeper page into the Sunday playlist and schedule to play between the hours of 12pm and 9am. Next, go to Playlist, Manage Playlist, Create a new playlist. Call this Master. In your Master Playlist, add your weekday schedule playlist by clicking the plus button in the top right corner. And schedule it to play every day except Sunday. Then add your Sunday playlist and set this to only play on a Sunday. Next we need to make our donation playlist that will be played on a separate kiosk. Go to Playlist, Manage Playlist and create a new playlist. Call this Donation. Add the start screen for your donation pages and set this to play all the time. Finally, then go to Project Settings. Then click the Screens and Pages tab and click the On Startup drop down menu to run and loop and set this as the master page. And that's it, the project is complete.